For this lesson, we're going to uh, paint a, a field of, of flowers. I, I love this time of year because of uh, the beautiful flowers that, that I see as I'm on my walks or, or driving into town from my farm. And I just wanted to show you a simple way of, of capturing on paper uh, that beauty. Uh, this is a kind of a breezy painting uh, uh, project. Uh, there's not a lot of detail. It's more of, you know, an impression of flowers. I'm going to show you the field of flowers kind of going straight up and down, but you could also have them leaning over. Um, you can also do different types of flowers, different colors of flowers. Um, I'm going to do some simple kind of round flowers, but if you want tulips, it would be more of, you know, an oval uh, so you can decide what uh, what impression uh, you want to depict of a field of flowers. Uh, so our supply list, uh, we need an assortment of uh, acrylic paints. We definitely need some green. I've got a darker green and a lighter green, and I'll show you how we're going to use that. Uh, we I do have a black here if I decide to make the centers of the flowers darker. Um, and then I've got paper plate. Um, I've got two sizes of round brush and one kind of skinny flat brush. Paper toweling, water, and you're all set. You don't need to have a pencil or anything because we're just going to paint it uh, right on the paper. And the paper that you should have, I went with black because I, as I mentioned before, I really like how colors pop off of black, but, and this is a 12 by 18. You can also use a lighter color. Put that extra sheet off to the side, a, a, a lighter color of, of paper, like a blue. So it's kind of the, the, the flowers against the sky. Uh, so what we're going to do is start with our darker green and our thicker round brush. So make sure that you uh, shake up your paint bottle and put some paint on there. Um, and we are going to use, as I said before, the bigger paint brush, round paint brush to get some thicker lines. Now, through the use of color and the size of the lines, we're going to be able to have some of the flower stems looking further away and some looking closer to you, okay? And you wanna make sure that you are doing different heights. We don't want everything, I'll push this up so that you can see. We don't want all of your stems the same height, okay? So we're just going to walk ourselves across the paper. And you can put these fairly close together. Now I need a little more water because it's not flowing off my, there, that's better, off my uh, brush nicely towards the ends of my strokes. So you can go over these if you want. Notice I'm having some of them taller and some of them shorter. And they don't need to be, you know, perfectly straight because we're, doing, we're depicting nature here, right?
Okay, so we've got the first layer of stems. Now I'm going to, now if you don't have a lighter green with you, that's fine. You can take your darker green and add white to make it lighter. Or you can add yellow if you would like. I happen to have some lighter green hanging out in my studio. And I'm going to use another round brush. I'm going to add a little bit of water because my paint looks a little thin. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to do more stems, walking them across. You can put them in between the darker or you can kind of layer them. You can make it so they're crossing. going back so that if I didn't get down to the edge of the paper.
Okay, so when you're done, I want you to look at it and see if there's any gaps that you want to fill in. And if you've got your heights adjusted nicely, if you hear purring, it's because my cat is insisting that I hold her while I paint, which, you know, makes it a little tricky. There we go. All right. Now we're going to pick out our colors for our flowers. And I'm going to go with a yellow. And I'm going to go with a red. And I think I'll go with kind of a, a pink. I don't have an orange. I thought I did. Maybe I'll, well, this is kind of a peach. I think I'll go with those three colors. You can use as many colors as you want. Okay. So what we're going to do is choose a color and I'm going to use the, the darkest first and then overlap with the more medium tone, and then the yellow. And so all of my flowers, because they're all the same species of flowers, um, they'll be about the same height and about the same uh, size of, of flower. And we're just going, again, these don't have to be real detailed. I'm just doing some quick, and you want them in sort of a roundish shape. So think about your composition. These kind of look like little carnations. Oops. Okay, so now if I want to kind of add a little bit of, of depth to it, or interest, because, you know, no color's pure, I have a little more of an orangey that I can mix in with some red. And I can go back over some of my flowers and give them a little more interest. Again, still sort of the, I'm not really painting, I'm sort of dabbing at it or jabbing at the, the paper. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like those two colors mixed together. That looks good. Okay. So I'm going to change colors. And you know, now that I'm, I think I might use a, a lighter blue. Let's see if I've got enough paint in here for more of a contrast rather than that pinkish color that I had picked out. See, painting is a process and you can, you can change your mind at any time. So now I'm going to add another layer of flowers. And you can make these a little bit bigger if you want. Put some a little bit lower. You could clump some together, have one kind of going off to the side. Okay, so I was going to add a darker blue, and now I've misplaced where I set it. Oh, here it is. So we're going to do the same thing where we're going to add a little bit of our original blue. Just to make a medium tone. We don't want to use that color of blue on this because it's too, too much of a contrast. I think I need a little bit more blue on there. There we go. Make sure that you have your brush really well cleaned out. Our next color will be yellow.
You can have some of them overlap. Make sure that the paint's kind of dry. Else you might end up merging the two colors. So you're slowly just kind of filling in all of the spots. Okay, so I'm going to jazz these up a little bit by adding a little bit of that pink orange. Make sure you don't cover up all of the yellow with your new color, whatever color you decide that you want to do. Sorry about that. Okay, so I have decided to use a little bit of my pink. Whoops. That wasn't good. Sure why it's so watery in there. <clears throat> Some acrylic paints separate out. There we go. More than others.
I'm not going to overdo it with the, with the pink. Well, I do think I want just a little bit of height right there. So I'll just make it another pink one. So you can see how I, I have a little bit of a, a rhythm uh, with that. I think I'll add just a little bit of white. I'm going a little bit lighter with the white because I just want it to be just a touch. <clears throat> okay, so I will let you go ahead and just continue filling in. If you want to put some down a little bit further, you can do that. If you want to go over your stems again, now that you have the flowers painted, you can go ahead and kind of get the look that you want. Uh, I, I think I want to go over some of these thicker lines just to <clears throat> make them stand out a little bit. Particularly here. The darker green, particularly on the black paper, kind of fades away a little bit. So you can make that more bold by going over them again. I think this design would be really fun on the front of a, a greeting card. Or a little, you know, canvas that could be framed. And as you can see, it's fairly simple to do. You can do it on canvas. You can do it on a heavy cardstock like this is. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.